Do you remember when Morgan Freeman said this? We have been attacked. We are. At war. Well, it turned out he was right. We are at war. We are at war with a lying, virtue-signalling Hollywood elite. We are at war with a hostile and divisive fake news media. We are at war with feminist lies about patriarchy, rape culture and toxic masculinity. We are at war with treasonous Western leaders in Germany, France, New Zealand, Australia, Canada and the once United Kingdom. In fact, in every Western nation, except for the one where we are told the leader is a traitor who has committed treason against his own people. Donald Trump stands alone in support of Brexit. He stands alone in support of Western values. He stands alone in support of democracy. He stands alone in support of the freedom of speech. But this is a brave new world where freedom will not be tolerated. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Turn, turn the, the friggin', friggin frogs, frogs gay. Bam, bam, serious crap. Gay. Frogs, friggin' frogs. Bam. It's not funny. I'm going to say it real slow for you. Gay. The recent arrest, false imprisonment and effective torture of Tommy Robinson, Lauren Southern being banned from the United Kingdom and being threatened with arrest in Australia for committing the crime of wrongthink in believing she was free to speak in a nation in which she actually is free to speak. Justin Trudeau giving millions of dollars to Islamic terrorists or giving nothing to injured Canadian soldiers. The once United Kingdom locking people up for the crime, unbelievably, of throwing bacon at a mosque, a crime for which ultimately they died. Angela Merkel showing scorn and disdain for the German flag and even greater scorn and disdain for the German people. Her loathing of freedom, her loathing of democracy, her contempt for the safety of the German people, her desperation to bring in hostile people from a hostile culture, Theresa May's cowardly, sniveling and pathetic refusal to implement the democratic will of the British people, social media platforms shutting down, removing and shadow banning libertarian and conservative voices, where anyone who refuses to tow the party line is turned into an Orwellian unperson. Leaders in Western nations taking large sums of money from the Chinese in what could only be described as bribes, skyrocketing national debt and ever increasing unemployment as a consequence of a series of bad trade deals that appear to be designed to harm their own people. Failing education systems driven by propaganda and ideology set out to indoctrinate rather than educate. The lie of 53 imaginary genders rammed down the throats of the young. Islamic grooming gangs being allowed to get away Way with raping thousands of children over a period of decades. The implementation in Germany, Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia and New Zealand of what amount to virtual blasphemy laws and laws prohibiting free speech in supposedly free nations. Lauren Southern and Stefan Molyneux being effectively banned from speaking in New Zealand. We are at war. This is an attack. This is an attack on Western culture and Western values. This is an attack on freedom. And as we see in the rising body count from Islamic terror, this is an attack on Western people. But the leaders of this attack are not the Islamists. They are the liars and the frauds and the conmen who run our governments. We are at war. And our enemy is our treasonous leaders. But sadly, they are aided and abetted by far too many of us who have bought the indoctrination and have bought the lies. We are at war, and we are losing. But our culture is not going to die with a bang. It's not even going to die with a whimper. It's barely going to make a sound. All we will hear as our culture dies is this. Morons applauding their own destruction. We are at war.